After the country honors the fallen on Memorial Day, conversations continue about how to support service members overseas and those back home. Many of us may know someone in the military struggling with their mental health. That's why Jasmine Turner is on your side, speaking to a veteran who is helping people find resources that can help. When you lay down a wreath and you want to think of those who have lost, remember those who have also lost a battle to mental health too. Army veteran Stephanie Merlot served during Operation Enduring Freedom, but also knows all too well the battle of mental health. Me, myself, I've lost about five to seven people to suicide. Um, my brother, he was infantry and he was a Marine. He's lost 25. And yeah, that's... that. It, it, it's unspeakable numbers. Marlowe says she was sexually assaulted while serving during the time of don't ask, don't tell. And I was assaulted by a woman. And so therefore, if I reported it, I would be also looked into as being outed and could easily be dishonorably discharged. Struggling with the impacts of PTSD and military sexual trauma, she eventually found trusted support. Finding that group helped me tremendously. Oh my God. It helps so much. Merlot is now creating community and offering resources as the Richmond chapter leader of Minority Veterans of America. If we're going to Congress itself, if we are testifying, we are trying to push for veterans um, rights just all around. And a lot of that is encompassing PTSD and suicide. While honoring those who are no longer here, Merlot wants veterans who may be struggling and their families to know they're not alone. When it comes to really trying to support that service member, you have to understand some of the trauma that comes with it and the scars that we're holding inside, the invisible scars, and taking that time to recognize that um, year round not just on Memorial Day. And Merlot says some of the best advice she has gotten is to not be afraid to share what she's going through with the people who love her most. She also says that if you or anyone you know is struggling, you can reach out to the Veterans Crisis Line. On your side, Jasmine Turner, NBC 12. All right, thanks a lot.